Hey guys, Hydrate here. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to install and use Rife Flow Frames on your computer. So hit download now in the link in the description. You can donate if you want, up to you. And then you got to make sure to hit download. Once it downloads, open it. If this pops up, just hit more info and run anyway. You can install anywhere you want. You can do the default, the same folder as the installer or the custom folder. I'm going to put it in my E drive. And then you can choose which GPU you have. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so I'm obviously going to click that. I'd hit auto detect for this one, but if you know what you're doing, then you can hit the other ones. Again, you can hit auto detect for this one. If you'd want to take a lot of space, then you can pre-install all AI models, but I'm not going to because I don't really want to. And then confirm and install, hit next, and just wait for it to install. This process should take about 5-10 minutes, depending on how fast your download speed and hard drive are. So once it's done, you get these three options. I'm just going to leave it on my desktop and start flow frames after I get the installer's done. So hit yes. Hit yes again. And there you go, it's installed. And the first time it runs, it's going to complete a little thing. It's, it's, it's going to take a hot minute. Once that's done, then you go to interpolation, choose which AI you want. Make sure to read the descriptions to help you. Browse for a video. I'm going to choose one of these. I'm going to choose the output FPS and I'm going to choose the model that I want. I'm just going to leave it as the recommended. And then once you have all your settings done, you hit interpolate and you can choose the preview of the window to see where it is or where the AI is at that point in time. But it's not going to show you the actual output video. You won't be able to see that until, you know, the video is done. And once the video is done, it should look like this. And then you can just go to where the, you set the output directory and the video should be there. So thanks for watching.